Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm going to do you a basic landscape with some water in it. Um, just because people seem to like the landscapes and realise I've not done many with water in them for quite a while. Um, if ever you see a technique that you like the look of and you want more of it, or you want me to do something, just give us a shout. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'll pick up on it and it uh, might take a few weeks for it to be filmed and edited and everything. We'll get to it. Also, I'm taking bookings again for workshops and workshops that can be done remotely so we can do them via your mobile phone or your laptop. Just give me a shout and we'll sort something out for you. If you've got any questions about encaustic art in any way, shape or form, just ask. I'm here to answer your question if I can. If I can't answer it myself, I will endeavour to find out the answer and get back to you. Um, like I said, I'm just going to do a basic uh, landscape and put some water in it. So I'm going to start with the sky. So to mix up a sky, we want sky blue pink with yellow dots in. So we want some white, some pink, some yellow dots, some blue dots. This is the stronger blue, a tiny bit of the baby blue. Okay, that'll give us a sky. Run that colour. Rest in the eye and just run it down, covering about a third of the paper, the card, okay, like so. Then we want some hills in the background, so I have a bit of the blue, oh, drop the white one, white one, tiny bit of yellow one. Add a little bit of red, just a tiny bit, and a little bit of green. And then I'm just going to run the iron at an angle, um, so it's like sort of spreading butter. Um, just get that running, yeah, it's running, and just um, push the iron up and down like a graph, uh, it will look a bit like a reading off a ECG machine. So do a few tall bits and a few short bits and do anything else bits you can think of. That's alright. And then where this lower ridge is you can just Get your iron and just push it around a bit. Don't worry that it's filling in underneath for you already. Don't worry about that. It's absolutely fine. And what we're going to do, double the iron underneath that so that we've hardly used any wax. Nice thing with these pictures. You don't actually use that much material. Right, there's a few ways to put water in. But one of the easiest ways is get a piece of tissue that you've already cleaned your iron with a few times. Okay? It's got a bit of wax on there. And just run the iron through where you want to split the picture. Okay? Run it through, probably two, two runs. Another way of doing it is warm up the underneath paper with the iron and then place it over the top. Just give it a rub through in a straightish line. And it will, as it is as it has on here, it's picked up and melted some of the darker wax. Um, that's absolutely fine. So that's gonna actually help me to create the water. Um, I want it a bit lighter than that. So I'm just going to warm it back through. So what I'm trying to achieve is something 
similar and right, not quite happening I wanted similar colours to the sky so I can add it I can just add it in so I'm just going to mix a mini sky on the pipe there I'm just going to paint it straight in It'll not be perfect, that's not what that's not what we're asking for. We're just asking for similar colours. Which I've now got. Yeah. And then down here I'm gonna make some land. So I'm gonna get some brown and some greens on my iron. Mix them in. And I'm going to tap them around the bottom of the picture. Yeah, so I'll just tap them in. And then I'm going to use the side edge of my iron to create some shapes more or less all the way along so I'm just sawing really with the iron and pushing it along and then you can do little one to bit of that scallops like little stones Push the wax around a bit at the bottom, then some more sawing in a minute. Every layer you do, you're pushing the one before it back. It gives more and more depth to your picture. The art of this stuff is to know when to stop. couple of birds in the sky cleared out with the side edge of the point what I didn't want there's lots of videos of me doing that on my channel you'll see them there you go basic little landscape couple of birds a little bit of water hope you've enjoyed that take care everybody enjoy happy painting everyone and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video please hit like and subscribe <laughs>